Great people. Yes, we are back with another video, another episode of Snap Political. So glad you guys have been chiming in, have been liking the comments, have been liking the content, giving me the feedback in the comments section. I so truly appreciate your support and the engagement that we have. I really do, and I'm grateful for it. Don't forget, if you haven't seen the post I put up on the community board, check it out. And also give me your vote for a slogan. Let's tap into this. We've been in California since 2016. I love it out here. I'm always going to be a Georgia peach. The ATL is my city. Georgia is my state. But now I live in California, so I'm an AT Calian. Now, things have changed since we first moved here. They really have. You know, not pleased with the governor. I can't wait until this state becomes red. It used to be a red state. How it switched half of the USA was red. Did you know that, guys? Did you know that? I don't know if I put that video on my channel or if I watched it just for myself, but I talked about how the whole US was almost red. It, it, it was many, many, many years ago. Okay, so I wanna get into this video. It's short and sweet. Those of you who live out here, in Hollywood. I want to know John, how you thank feel. You. A what warning you think. tonight uh -oh, for minute, drivers in Orange County. Hello. In Hollywood. Wait a minute. Since the changes, the crime, the influx of immigrants. Must I keep? Let's hear what he's talking about here. In Hollywood. John, thank you. A warning tonight for drivers in Orange County where armed robbers are using elaborate fraud schemes to rob and carjack unsuspecting motorists. Authorities say the robberies are brazen, well-planned and dangerous. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade is, is live crazy. in Irvine with more on the elaborate car theft ring. Mary Beth. Well, Mike and Chair, police say that the suspects like to meet up with their victims in shopping plazas like this one here in Irvine, just off the five freeway. They say they offer the victims money to do a task for them, but instead they steal your car. I have kind of two task? kids and my wife. This man is too afraid to be identified, saw his life flash before his eyes in an Irvine shopping plaza this week when he says a person pulled a gun on him and stole his car. When I see my wife family, I start to almost cry because you, you never know what would happen. He says he had agreed to do a job to make extra money, but this past Monday afternoon, when he met up with the person who he was supposedly going to work for at the Heritage Plaza in Irvine, that person carjacked him. After that, I called the police and then they told me it's not the first person that happened. Irvine police say he's wow. one of at least 10 victims that fell for the scam in the past 12 months. They say wow. this is video of another recent victim's car being stolen. The Irvine Police Department believes that there is a sophisticated organized auto theft crime ring operating in Orange County. Police tell us the victims respond to an ad on Facebook mm. offering to pay them thousands of dollars to transport a large sum of money. They say they then agreed to meet at Heritage Plaza in Irvine or another nearby Irvine shopping plaza. And then the uh, suspect gets into the vehicle, um, offers them between six and $12,000 to drive to Bakersfield with money. Uh, they tell the victim they've got to go to another location to pick up the money. And then once they're inside the car, ensure that they're not being followed, they then carjack the victim. In most cases, police say, the vehicles are then being driven down to Mexico. We don't know. Uh, it could be cartel activity. Uh, it could be just that they're selling them in Mexico, uh, but they're definitely using them for, for some sort of purpose. And please tell us that the other scam that they are carrying out is offering you money to borrow your car. And then, well, they just never return your car. Now, police believe that there are more victims out there too afraid to come forward. And police are want everyone to know they're not concerned about what the reason was why you met up with that suspect. They just want you to come forward and file a police report if they stole your car. For now, reporting live here in Irvine, Mary Beth McDade. We'll send back to you guys in the studio. Okay. Okay, now people got to use their common sense, and we know com we know sense ain't common. Everybody, everybody don't view common sense the same. So first of all, if somebody is asking you to drive a large sum of money somewhere, wouldn't you be a little bit suspicious? Hmm. Why would you want me to drive you and a large sum of money somewhere? Two, you're getting in my vehicle without the cash, and you want me to take you somewhere else to pick the cash up when you should already have the cash so a stranger is getting in your car for you to drive them somewhere to get a large sum of money and they're going to pay you a percentage or a lot a large amount of money to take them somewhere to drop off some money 
does that make sense to you guys, great people? Where, where are my thinkers? And I understand people, this is the times that we're in. People need cash. I get that. You know, things are happening. Everything is expensive. Let's not even go down the whole, whole soapbox. However, that's why you have got to think, Pete. That's why you have got to stop and think here. Stop and think. I mean, that don't even sound right. That don't even sound right. And if you need extra income, then pick up a part-time job. Uber. You better off Ubering, lifting, um, door dashing, working for a reputable car service. I mean, there's so many other things you can do to generate extra income versus dealing with strangers that you don't know. And we are, and if scams are not beyond and over in abundance right now, and thank God that no one has gotten hurt and no one's family has been hurt and involved. But people, you gotta use your brain. You have got to use your brain and think. That just doesn't even sound right. There is no absolute way. And, and it's an ad on Facebook. Okay, so that's a reputable, social media site but criminals are everywhere it is the day of social media so they lurk there looking for people who are vulnerable and who do, and who do not stop and apply common sense it's just no way what makes you want to what makes you want to look at an ad and say okay i'm gonna let i'm gonna allow this person i'm gonna go and pick up this stranger to take him and pick up some money i can't even that's all i got what do you think about this guys how do you feel? Where do people do this? In Orange County, of course, that's what folks got bread. So yeah, you're gonna be in Orange County because they got do up, they got some cash up there. They got some cash. But with the cash, you need to have a brain. I'm just saying, you need to be able to think for yourself. Come on. Right, people don't do that. Do not fall for this okie doke and for these heartless, evil criminals. What's done in the dark is gonna come to light and it's, they're going to be found out. They're going to get the repercussions of doing things to hurt people. It always comes back. So the word says, so know that it will. So they're gonna get theirs, truly. But come on people, you can avoid you can avoid yourself the inconvenience, the heartache, putting yourself at risk, your family at risk, your belongings. You don't even have to put yourself through it. Just stop and think. Where's the logic in that? If they need, if they need money transported, they can do it themselves. Come on, borrow my car. It's called rent a car. It's called renting a car. So many car rental places. So many car rental places. Toro, put your car on Toro, boo. And I know they've done that on Toro, and people don't bring the cars back as well. But at least you got a little bit more covering. Okay, great people. I, I, I'm just, I am just amazed at what's going on. Is this happening in other states? Because this is out here. It seems like, you know, Newsom has just let, you know, he's let, he's let him out. Please, can we get him out of office? Please. How much longer does he have? All right, great people. I appreciate your support. Let me know what you think. What can people do to ensure themselves that this things won't, this won't happen to them? Give me some comments in the comment section. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.